Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sunday Night Mixed Media Backgrounds. Now I've pulled out some things and I pulled out my jelly plate because it's been a hot minute since I played with it. I got some textures, some paint, my rollers, and plenty of white cardstock. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I am starting out with my jelly plate just on top of my glass mat, and I am just putting on the acrylic paint. So there is like a fine line of too much paint or too little paint. And the first time I used this uh, roller, it is uh, too little, right? Like there is definitely not enough paint. I think another time I have a little bit too much paint, but um, let me tell you, it has been god it's been since we've since i lived in california that i've played with my jelly plates and that's 18 months or something like that so a bit out of practice let me tell you that um, but i am just using two color paints um, i only grabbed a couple of different textures uh as i was doing this and actually as i was cleaning up i was like oh i could have done this and i could have done this and i could have done this but honestly, just getting it out and doing these small things will make me want to pull out the jelly plates again. Uh, I want it to have a little bit more of that blue color on here. So I am just going to go ahead and roll it. Now, a good rule of thumb, um, if you have a jelly plate and you're rolling paint like this, if the roller is not rolling and it's just kind of sliding, that's gonna be a little bit too much paint. Uh, you want it to definitely roll. So I'm going to get it to roll. I'm going to try out um, this mesh. Well, first I'm gonna put the bubble texture on. Um, I'm gonna try out the mesh. Um, it's, it's a little bit thick, but I'm not exactly sure how it's going to take. Uh, ultimately, it doesn't take that great, right? So maybe if I would have cut off the thicker ends, um, and done this so maybe a little bit more play is called for here but I'm not I'm not exactly uh, feeling it you know what I mean so I'm gonna put it over on the corners because I thought oh that would be awesome um, to kind of have this here uh, and then maybe over here and what I was envisioning in my head did not come out um, so I'm going to lay my paper on top of it I'm gonna grab another brayer uh, this is a clean brayer and just brayer over this uh, so that I can get the jelly print um, up. Now, jelly printing uh, is not a whole heck of a lot different than stencil printing. Um, same kind of concept, but yeah. So I pulled this up and I was like, oh, I should have had a lot more paint on there for it to actually come out. So I'm just going to sit this one to the side. Um, pull those off and then I think maybe I should just take a print of this and see what happens here. So I'm going to grab another sheet of white cardstock, place it on and then press it down. Now I am also rolling this one on and I'm like maybe I should have just pressed it. Um, I don't know. I haven't figured that out. Sometimes I get really good results when I roll. Sometimes it's better when I press but I'm going to pull this off and then we'll see what it looks like. Well, bam, a little bit uh, better. This is a little bit more what I was expecting when I did the first print, um, but it's cool. Now I'm going to add on more paint because obviously there needs to be more paint on here if I'm gonna pull any more uh, prints. So again, I'm using the same two colors. I'm not trying to go crazy here, just dipping my toe back into the jelly plates, right? Um, as you can see, this is a lot of paint. My roller is not really rollering. It is kind of just going to town all the way around. Um, probably should have pulled off a little bit of paint here. This is where I've got um, maybe a little bit too much, um, but it's okay, right? So I'm going to just make sure I have a nice good coat of paint all over the place here. Um, now I'm starting to roll it. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe there's not too much paint, maybe, but it is sliding a little bit. So probably should have taken off some. So I'm going to put that off to the side. I am going to uh, open up the stencils 
and I grabbed my stencil of the month binder just to see if there was any in there that I had not played with yet and that is a shameful thing to admit um, but sometimes there are stencils that I make that I don't play with right away um, which is which is a crying shame but I ended up doing the checkerboard stencil which I think was from March of this year I had big visions for this stencil when I made it like I had ideas um, and they never came to fruition because I never pulled it out and played with it. So, yep, March 2024. Okay, so I'm going to put this stencil on top of there. Um, and then I'm going to put uh, the bubble wrap back on here. Because, I don't know, I just love bubble wrap. It's just fun, right? So I'm going to put that on there. Pull that up. I'm like, alright, yeah, we got, some, we got some texture going on here. Going to drop that white... Uh, cardstock again. Now again, you don't have to use white cardstock when you're doing this. You could use colored cardstock. You could use pattern paper, whatever the heck you want it to do. Um, going to pull this print. This one is going to be a very white print, meaning there's going to be a lot of white cardstock. So here we have kind of a fun uh, checkerboard. And then I'm going to pull off the stencil. And I'm like, now I should pull a print of this. Um, however, I don't have any place to throw this stencil, so I am literally going to hold it in my hand while I am doing prints. Um, and here, probably not the best idea because I started to put it down, it stuck, and then I pulled it up. But I'm going to go ahead and um, pull this print as well. And I'm like, okay, that one's, that one's a lot more, a lot more paint. That works. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, I've got a little bit more paint on here. I can do one more thing. So I'm going to grab this uh, texture comb. I'm going to comb through the entire jelly plate. And then I'm going to grab one more piece of paper and then pull a print off of that. So after this print is pulled, I am done playing with the jelly plate. And that's all I got to say about that. I go clean up and then now I'm doing the voiceover. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.